Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. You know, I've been thinking about something a lot, and it's this PK Displayers hypothesis. And it's just a model. But when looking at the historical record, at any given time in the U.S., there's maybe five people who can really do macro PK or experience it. And there's so many events and there have been so many studies on paranormal experiences and trauma. I was just uh, on Science Magazine um, uh, papers and there are so many really interesting ones. There are ones about trauma and how people score on PSI tests. There's tons on uh, everything from mental illness signs and if you believe in PSI, but they detected if they have mental illness they don't do well in verifiable tests. But the ones who do really well with verifiable PSI experiments seem not to have uh, mental illnesses. Like, I'll show you here, uh, where is this study? <clears throat> oh, this one was really interesting. I thought, well, if a couple of these uh, conditions of this PK displayer, these rare conditions that come together to create a macro PK, I thought in mental hospitals, in hospitals, either the patients or the nurses might be under extreme stress and pressure. And there have been studies about anomalous and paranormal experiences reported by nurses in relation to patients in hospitals. And there were so many cool stories in here. And there's a lot of really interesting stuff. And how they calculated different types of experiences depending on the conditions and stuff that they encountered. And they definitely found a correlation um, between quite a few things. You know, this is another one of those uh, issues that complicates research into this stuff. Because it's so varied. And there's a lot of people who say, oh, you know, I can do this, I can do that. Or there's phenomena here or phenomena there. And it doesn't happen. But they find with the people they can test and test how they do in PSI exams, they have discovered some really, really cool stuff. Um... Let me see if I can find a couple of little things for you here. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. But we know that uh, mil mental illnesses and phenomena and UFOs have a history. And it's just another one of those complicating factors that make researching this topic to get to the bottom of some of these mysteries, it makes it very difficult. You really have to know the people who are claiming to exhibit psychokinesis, especially macro psychokinesis. You need to know their mental health background before you even test for PSI ability. 
I think this PK Displayer's model could reveal some astonishing things. What do you guys think?